Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dipachu Guy, and this is the number three review of group number nine, dry snuff, nasal snuff. All of these groupings are found on one playlist, and it is called dry snuff, nasal. So what we will be taking a look at is an Indian product from Six Photo, and it is Green Dragon. And it is evidently strong. I have it here in the eight gram tubet, I suppose. We're going to take it over the desk and I am going to get the mag magnification going <laughs> to take a closer look at the packaging and the product inside. Back in a moment. Okay, so here we are. So what you're looking at is a eight gram all plastic tubette. Um, it is wrapped. Now, at first you're like, oh, that's nice. They're actually putting in cellophane now. No, not really. Uh, that is a piece of what could only be described as scotch tape that they've put from label across the top down to label, uh, which is sort of funny. It, it might be packaging tape, but... So, as I said, this is from India, which is going to become very obvious to everyone in moments when you see this. This is a guy surrounded by five smaller versions of himself. And I may actually put magnification up here because I'm seeing different versions down at the bottom there. Is that different guys or is that his beard growing? Do you see that? It sort of seems like the same guy at varying stages of beard growth. But no matter, let's say it is the same guy with different stages of beard growth. This means in Hindi that this product is extra good. It's one time good to the power of five, which means extra good. This is nasal snuff for export only, as you're saying there, and it is manufactured by licensed user, the long thing at the top, uh, this is a mobile number for the ca consumer care executive. I'm wondering why anyone would put their mobile telephone number on a product, let alone a tobacco product, but hey, they must be committed. And you see India there at the top. Oh, this is a surprise. I did not know there was a second guy on there. So we have two guys and... They're both to the power of five, which means this product is extra, extra good. Now, it is saying down here net weight six grams, which throws me off because the packaging that I got stated the product was eight grams. That said, this would make more sense because you can see how small this is. So we'll go with what they are claiming which is six grams. I am guessing Mr. Snuff maybe took the weight as the packaging too. I don't know what that is. That's sort of interesting. This uh, product could damage your health. I uh, fully agree with that statement and is possibly addictive depending what your pain threshold is. And that's about it. Uh, up top, it is noted as six photo, which is the six, and then I am guessing that is Hindi for photo. It's a uh, registered thingy. So there you go. I guess we'll get into this with it magnified at this level. Um, so, so let me get the scotch tape off here. I'm wondering if this is like a Mr. Snuff add-on or... <laughs> Or they actually got a guy with a roll of scotch tape at the factory in India just taping up lids. 
Wow, it's really on there too. Oh, well, oh no, 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 no. He was the weaker of the two. Oh no, 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 why would you do that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we now know who the stronger of the two is. This guy and his sorcery. And there we go. Uh, sorry about other dude. Younger guy got taken out. We'll uh, just file this over here. So what you have here is, <laughs> let me see. My hands are so beat up right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh dear. Okay, so uh, the Tibet is very pliable, and when you try to get the lid off, you just sort of squeeze the product out like some sort of insane tube of powdery toothpaste. So that's what you're looking at. Let me see if I can... Wow, this is like, I don't even know how I'm going to get this back together. It's got a greenish hue to it. And I have it everywhere. And let's see if we can lower this even further. And there you go. Now, for an idea of how small I am working here with, that is a can of Stoker's. As for this stuff, man, this this thing like popped like big time. Like I'm not even quite sure how. Will you go back in? You go back in there. I'll just work off the paper towel. You just you just settle yourself down in there, homie. Wow, I got it in the lid. Ah, okay. Okay, so I think I have enough. This is a high nicotine product, so I think I have enough already out. Ah, I could just dump more out. I'm going to get the lid. Now, the product does have a slight, and I'm trying, <laughs> it's, it's not even, I have it like out over by my keyboard. It's got a slight rib that goes around it that this sort of snaps down on, or is at least supposed to, if you could hear that. The product itself is a fine grind, but as you can see, there's clumping, so the moisture level must be fairly good. It's in good condition, um, but these products, now I've never had one squeeze like that before, but now that it's happened, I'm a little surprised it hasn't happened before. So if you had a snuff box or another snuff container, this is definitely something you probably just want to dump out of the original packaging. I don't see how it's usable in the way it comes for, you know, day-to-day -day use. It's a real, real fine. Do you see how that's rubbing down there? Like, super, super fine. So we're going to take it back up top because this is taking forever now. Um, and <laughs> look how big the snuff spoon looks like at this. I don't even know what I'm at. I got the camera all the way down to the desk, and I've doubled ma magnification. And the camera is, that's why I'm having a hard time moving the container around, because the camera is like maybe three inches off the desk at this point. Going back up top, back in a second. Okay, and I am back. Uh, okay, so yeah, um... I could just pinch off this, but you're not going to be able to see it. So I guess I'll put some on my hand. Oh, that's that probably way too much. Uh, the stuff is very clumpy. If you squeeze it together, it will actually form, which is not exactly what I'm wanting in this situation. That's all I'm doing. You can see again, though, the green color of that. Now, I'm guessing that is greenish like that. I'm registering mint, uh, but I have purposely not really been looking these up beforehand, so we will find out in a second. Uh, okay. <coughs> oh, 
my God. What have I done? <coughs> my mouth is drooling. Oh my God. Oh. I don't think I've ever had anything burn like that before. I can't see out of my left eye. Tell me my eyes water. Tell me that I have a lost vision in my left eye. My eyes water. Dude, okay, well, this is definitely too much now. But, I, <laughs> but yet here I am. You do not need to uptake heavy. I shouldn't have held my other nostril. That was a bridge too far. gone to plan and I didn't bring any extra paper towels oh my god what am I doing okay holy crap okay um ah uh, uh, come on come on Wow. Holy goodness. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm trying to get my head wrapped around this. Uh, it's ridiculously strong. Uh, you know, look. Tobacco out of India. Tobacco people in India, they must be like unhinged lunatics. Because everything coming out of that country is, like, over the top, strength-wise. This is no different. What you're seeing my reaction to, though, although it is strong, is the burn of this stuff. And how light it is. That first one where I hit the back of my throat. A lot of it got stuck in my nose on the way there, but a, a portion of it hit the back of my throat. And when I did a lighter step the second time, basically the same thing happened. So basically, you need to sort of position this under your nose and just breathe in normally. Like, don't don't try to sniff this stuff. But my reaction to that, besides the throat part, most of the reaction was the freaking burn. Okay, I don't think I've ever had a burn like that. And Lord knows I've probably done, might be into the 80s now of these. Now, I am not a daily nasal snuff user, as you probably are already guessing, but I've done quite a number of these products now. I'm thinking I'm into the 80s. I could be wrong. It's high 70s. Um and not one of them ever has burned in the nose like that. I am guessing, due to the scent flavor, although sensation-wise it's, it's in line with menthol or camphor, uh, I'm guessing this is mint that would also explain the green tint. Um, <clears throat> wow. Wow which has a cooling sensation afterwards, but you have to make it through that burn to get there. And the burn is just like, I mean, normally in these things, if they're bad or they're hard to take, I sneeze quite a bit. Now I did sneeze a couple times there, but that's not really registering on my sneezing scale. I never cough. I, I, I don't, I can't remember one of these reviews where it, it, it initiated me into a coughing spree. So this stuff is like, 
now it's sort of pleasant uh, I like the scent it doesn't have that whole Indian floral thing going on it's just mint um, I'm going with mint it's it's actually pretty nice um, but that initial take oh my god and I feel like I'm like hey <laughs> um, all in all this is not for beginners this is probably for experienced at least multi times a week users at least six grams or eight grams or whatever this thing is is a long supply a, a long time you got like like for me this probably be the rest of my life but no matter what it, it's it's a bit they really pack it in there as you could see what happened when I squeeze the tub this is what you're looking at now before you're like oh that's not well, that is that worth it it's like at Mr. Snuff. Now, mind you, don't buy one thing. Don't buy just this and then pay $12 for, like, shipping. Because this is only, uh, it might be like a dollar eighty ish um, And that's that. This has been my review of Six Photos Green Dragon. It's pleasant enough and satisfying after that initial burn goes away. But uh, if you were just like inch, like partially, like, ah, you know what? I'd like to try some nasal snuff at some point. Maybe I should. Yeah, this probably isn't the one. I am the Soon Tai Dip and Chew Guy. I do thank you for watching this ridiculously long video of me basically blowing my brains out through my nose. Uh, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.